Hi everybody, this is Night Owl Fibers, a crafting podcast. This is my mom, Brenda. This is my daughter, Rachel. And today is Sunday, the 10th of July, 2022, and it is episode 85. Welcome to all new and returning viewers. We're so happy to have you here with us. Mm -hmm. If you have not subscribed, please think about doing so. If you like what you see, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification, it's been two weeks since our last podcast. Yes. We're on schedule. Yay! <laughs> um, we have our social media links down below along with my website. I'm the diary behind Night Owl Fibers. And please comment below if you have any questions about what we talk about today because that's our version of show notes. Just comment and we respond. Yeah. Um, we hope that all of you had a wonderful 4th of July for those of you who live in the U.S. We are coming to you from Southeast Texas where it is extremely hot. Mm -hmm. It's really gotten warm in the yeah. past two weeks. Triple digits. Yeah. So Yay. <laughs> um, not a ton of knitting for this episode, but enough where we wanted to show and share yeah. and just um, catch up. No finished objects, but we do have works in progress and we both have blanket talk. We do. Some new cast-ons happened. So, without any delay, grab your knitting and let the crafting begin. Okay, so for Stitch by Stitch, what do you have? I have three things on my needles. Well, actually, that's not true. <laughs> I have some that are hibernating, but yeah. only three that I'm going to talk about today. Awesome. So, yeah. The first one is the... Penny Blossom. I was up here where this little rainbow stitch marker is. You doing um, yours cuff down. Cuff down. So it's a lot of progress. Yes. 2.25 millimeter. I put in a uh, natural opal for a slip mm -hmm. stitch heel. And I did Kay Jones's umbrella toe. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, that is where the toe started. The toe started. And I did it correctly this time. You might be able to see in here. I don't know if it'll focus or not. Here it is. See these little looser stitches right here? And maybe right in here? I tried continental knitting. Mm -hmm. And I could do it. I actually was able to do it. And yeah. it loosened my tension. So I went back to English knitting. I'm an English knitting by yeah. throw. So. Yeah. Um, and you've tried Continental every now and then. Every now and then, and it just doesn't work for me. But it's this not. time, I did it. I just need to practice more mm -hmm. and commit to one project so that I can work on that tension to make it even. See, I find whenever I try to switch, because I knit English as well, not Continental. Mm -hmm. And when I try to do Continental, it can make my hand really tired and fatigue it a lot easier. Mm. And so that muscle memory and the buildup. Like, I can do it with color work, yeah. knit with both hands, yeah. but... It is a muscle memory thing. And you do build up a certain amount of strength. You do. You do. And here's my second sock. I am using uh, Knit Pro Zings, Knitter's Pride Zings, uh, DPNs, and this is where I am at right now. Nice. A little star. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm past the gusset decreases. And I'm about right here. So I've got one and a half repeats of color before for I start the foot. Uh, yeah, for the yeah. foot before I start the toe on the second one. So nice. I think the next knitting project that I try, uh, maybe just a dishcloth or something, or something really small that I can just practice that tension with okay. the continental. Any particular reason why you want to try to develop that skill? I just like learning new things. You really I do. Can't talk today. It's okay. My dad always said the day you stop learning is the day you die. Yep. So you learn something new every day. So I just mm -hmm. want to challenge myself and with a different technique. with a different technique and have some more arsenals, you know, techniques and and things in my in my wheelhouse. Awesome. So that is my first stitch by stitch. Very oh, and it's being housed in my bag from CB Crafty Girl, which I absolutely love. Nice. Okay, so I am working on socks. This is my only pair of socks on the needles. 
I had a little break because last episode there were so many that came off the needles. This is the Luke colorway, which is available now through the 15th of July. Oh yeah, I didn't say and that about that's these. that's the same with that. They're Night Owl Fiber colorways. And then the colorways will ship out on the 20th if you order. But other than that, they're available now and they're really, really pretty. I am really enjoying this one. I have continued the pattern and the little marker is where I was. There are two at a time. I just popped this one on a blocker so you guys could see what I was doing. Um, so You're working at writing the pattern up for different sizes? I am. I'm working on it. It's not a multiple of four, which multiple is a four. So wonderful. Or eight. Um, or eights. Yeah, or twos. Yeah. Anyway. This I have the umbrella toe, so this is going to take a while to get the pattern up because one, I need to knit a different toe and a different heel into a pair so that, because these are not my original designs, so we need to, I think I'm going to go with the heel flap and gusset, and then some sort of rounded toe, just not this exact one because this is this one, the, German toe. the umbrella toe by Kay Jones and the OMG heel by Megan Williams. You should do the German toe because I really yeah, like that. I think I will because that's more like a pass down through generation kind of thing mm -hmm. like a heel flap and gusset. Yeah. Yes. So on these I carried the pattern up on the back and you can see right here there are four knit stitches together on the sides and I just thought I'd try that out with this pair and then the pearl ridges are as normal. So I am going to start ribbing next and have these off the needles very soon. So I have my little team toe up and then the little teacup, which was the teacup was from Little Bitty Delights. Oh yeah, it was. Yep, so yeah. these are close to being done and I need to cast on new socks. I am so blessed because I get to knit a new self-striping colorway each month by helping Rachel out to advertise yeah. for her shop. So I need to do better about getting pictures of those. Up. I I just I, I am so blessed to be able to do that, and I don't have to pay mm -hmm. for it because working yep. I work to to knit them for her, so she gives me the yarn for free. Yep. So that is a blessing. But you get to knit them in your size and keep them. So. I do. I do. Yes. Okay, these are my Helgen socks, which I showed last time. Mm -hmm. And the camera's focusing better today. It is. So. I was right here where my little uh, stitch marker is, and this is where I started the toe. Mm -hmm. And this is a pattern by Anna Knitter. If you don't know who she is, go follow her on uh, YouTube and Etsy. And She's also on Instagram. On Instagram. Mm -hmm. I think Instagram is Annalena Knitter. Yeah, but I will try to put a picture <clears throat> of the pattern like I do for our other patterns up on the yeah. screen. I didn't last time because I I didn't have the time with editing. I love this sock. It has a yeah. German toe, and she has um, sizing charts in her all of her patterns for fingering weight, all of her sock patterns that tell you how many inches you need to knit for the foot before you begin your toe and so. the toe is a German toe and I mm -hmm. really like it. So it's very comprehensive. Comprehensible. Yep. Yep. Very, and very comprehensive. It's just, she explains everything and you do not have to Kitchener. You just pull the yarn through, which was yeah. nice. I like to Kitchener, but that was kind of nice not to have to do it yeah. for a change. So it's not the same as a star toe or an umbrella toe. No, but it's a German it toe. It fits in a similar way. Yeah. And this is as far as I am right now. On the now. second one. I have the ribbing. ribbing done and one row of the pattern. And I'm also using Knitter's Pride Zing 2.25 DPNs for this. Nice. So I can take my yeah. cup of tea solves everything and switch it over to this sock. Because right now I have my Team Cuff Down sock on, the, or Progress Keeper on there. Mm -hmm. I love these circular clasps. clasps. They are so much easier to put on your knitting projects than these lobster claws. I don't know if you can see it, the lobster claw. I was looking at Amazon last night thinking, hmm, I wonder if I should just order a whole bunch of them and then just change out all of my existing 
you know, clasps to the little circle but ones because they're so much easier. There would be a lot of work, but I'm sure you could manage it. You know, your dad likes doing that, so I could just give him that as a project to do one day to keep him inside where it's cool rather than being out in the garden in the yard where it's really hot. My second sock project, and I just, I love this yarn. This is active. Mm -hmm. um, I think it comes from the Czech Republic. So it's a nice hardy wearing mm -hmm. commercial self-striping sock yarn. That yep. Self-patterning. Self-patterning. And I have that project in my other Carlin CB Crafter, CB Crafty Girl bag. And it's awesome. so adorable. Mm -hmm. And my DPN holders are from White Clover Crafts. Yeah, which you've been enjoying your DPNs. I have. Yeah. Okay, so what I... What else do you have, Rachel? have very little progress on it, but because I have so little to show, I'm going to show it again. <laughs> it is my Birch Pullover by Andrew Mallory, and it's still looking good. It's still maybe one row longer <laughs> than before, and it is Barrett Wolko in the Morning Sky colorway. I'm still on my second ball of it, and I think I need to pick a day of the week and work on this project only on that day and not pick up other projects like socks or blankets yeah. or reading or anything. Just have this as my hobby Goodbye. for the day. Designated hobby day. Designated sweater day. <laughs> yeah, when you yeah. during my free time, not like yeah. a twenty four hour knit a thon. We're not doing that. That yeah. would hurt. It would hurt <laughs> my hand. So it's pretty yarn. It's a nice soft color. Yes. My goal would be to have this for Christmas, winter season. Christmas day. Christmas day, definitely, but winter season would be great too. Hopefully it'll be cool enough on Christmas day to wear it. Sometimes we're in the 80s on yeah. Christmas. We tend to get our cooler weather more in February. January, February. Yeah. So Sometimes March. We shall see. Yeah. Okay, on to sweater knitting for me. I have this in my sweater bag from CB Crafty Girl. And I made a lot of progress on my Tin Can Knits play date. Awesome. I was you did all the way down here where this stitch marker is. And I have the body joined. Here's the shoulder seam. There it goes. You showing the wrong side? No, I'm showing the right side. side. Okay. There's my shoulder seam. There we go. And there's the other shoulder seam. There you go. Da da da. The three so the three needle bind offs really offer some more structure. Yes. So I think, and this is, I tried it on, and it's gonna fit really beautiful. Mm-hmm. It does. It's, my green one, I need to wash and reblock because it's very stretched out. And I will still wear it, and I need to depill it. Yeah, I have I think, a few sweaters that need that too. Yeah, I think my next step is collar band. Mm -hmm. and I think I want to pick up all of the stitches for the collar band and do that, mm -hmm. and then do sleeves and go on to Sleeve Island. Awesome. Where hopefully it's cooler and more tropical, and <laughs> I can have a a nice cocktail. Cool and tropical. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so I'm really pleased with this. This was um, yarn that Rachel gave me two years ago for Christmas. Yeah. I called it Winter Woods. You did. It's this really yeah. pretty gray with blue speckles and... Mm -hmm. I'm not really dying kettle dye anymore. No, but it's beautiful. And I realized when I bound off, mm -hmm. I was supposed to be knitting the body on a size 5. I knit it on a size 3. But you knit it to the pattern gauge. I did. So you I did. just had to go down needle size to meet the gauge that the pattern required. Which is funny because my other one that I knit, the green one, I knit that on a size 5. But you're a tight knitter, so normally a 5 gave was, you the right gauge. I was a tight knitter back then, too. I know. And you're still kind of a tight knitter, but it just worked. It did. So I think I'm going to go down to a size 2 for my collar band. Yep. So that it looks nice and neat. Yeah. Um, the pattern um, for 
their particular knitting style. They used a five for the body and a three for a the three for the that's ribbing. Makes me wonder if I did. And so they went down two needle sizes, and you're only going to be going down one needle size for your ribbing. But that ribbing looks like you did it with threes. Threes? Are you sure? Maybe I used fives. No. And then I, I maybe I just mm -hmm. flipped it around in my brain. It's possible, but I, it's very possible. I think the ribbing looks more like a three because I can transpose stuff easily sometimes, especially when I'm tired. Yeah, but yay! I have a body. My husband awesome. asked me. He goes, "Are you done with it?" I'm like, "Well, if I wear a cardigan without sleeves, have you ever heard of that before?" He goes, "Yeah, it's called a sweater vest." Mm -hmm. I said, "No, a sweater vest is." solid in the center, not you open. You weren't taking him seriously, you were just... No, we were just playing around. Yeah. But, anyway, mm -hmm. yeah, that is my play date. It's making awesome. progress. Very close to meeting that finish line. Yeah. And I just started my third ball. Mm -hmm. And I have four. I don't know if I'm going to need the fourth one or not. Maybe just a tiny bit of it. Maybe. So... Okay. And sleeves always go very fast for me. So that is all I have for stitch by stitch. Now we're going to awesome. move on to blanket talk. Awesome. So I cast on a blanket and it is knitted. It is the Alignment Throw by Margaret from Heidi and Lana. And I did her journey sock, the little yes. slip on socks recently. So this is the yarn I'm currently working with. The center one is a leftover, and these are two 100% superwash merino uh, fingering weight yarns. The blanket, you can do it in fingering weight or DK. They are two separate PDFs, but... However, if you purchase it on Ravelry, and you mm -hmm. purchase, say you purchase the fingering version, if you put DK in as a coupon code, I think you get both of them. You just read the description of whatever she has because we did it wrong and we only got the fingering weight yeah. version. Yeah, I so messed I up. Don't listen to us, just read her description. Read her description to find out how to get how both to of it. them for $8 instead of one for $8. Yeah. Anyway, so back to my actual knitting. <laughs> um, I have worked the first cross and it's done in strips. And here is my current, my current bit. There we go. And so it is, I believe, Antarja. Yep. Antarja. Antarja. And so you can see how it looks on the back side. There are a lot of ends to weave in. Yeah. But I like that it's small and you can just take it with you. It's not. Because you can just do it, take not it for easy. a strip. It's not easy to take with very well because you have to take the three and they get tangled and mm -hmm. it's. A little more fiddly than what it looks, but there are chunks where you're just knitting with one color and you don't have to wrap it around and secure it. And she has videos that show you how to do the wraps. It's not like a wrap and turn thing that's different, it's just twisting and securing. Mm -hmm. Anyway, she has videos that show you how to do it really well. How many strips are in this one? I think there's five or six. You can see... I think that's a forbidden fiber coat colorway. I think so. Down here you can see where the white is showing through right here. And that's because I wrapped it the wrong way. It's secure and you can't like stick your finger through it. There's no hole there. Mm -hmm. But it's just not as smooth and clean of a color change. So what is your color palette for this one? Um, blues, mauves, and then some brown kind of oatmeal, oatmeal colors. And a gold. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. That and I'm working on very slowly. But you're having fun with it. I am. Yeah. It she was had fun a, to cast She on. had a whole bunch of mm -hmm. um, scrap yarn out that she was trying to figure out what her color yeah. scheme was going to be. And I believe there is 27 sections of color. Um, and there's a portion where it only takes four grams. And there's four of those four gram sections, and the others are all full crosses, yeah. or plus signs, or however you want to view it. View it. But that's the alignment throw. Yay! 
Okay, I am using a 3.5 millimeter and E hook, and this is just one from Hobby Lobby. And I am working on my granny stripe blanket, and here yeah. is my basket of, oops, <gasps> yarn down. And it's the one you were working from, right? Yeah, it's the one I was working from that fell. <laughs> oh well, I'll pick it up later. So I have made quite a bit of progress on this if I can find the right side. I'm not sure which to side. show you. There's the stitch marker. There it is. There it is. So I was all the way down there and I've gotten that much done. Awesome. So I am loving this. This is all Opal and Regia yarns mm -hmm. and I'm just magic knotting and I'm not being particular about like this has like, four or five rows of this color. This one yeah. only has one. I'm not being particular about how many stripes each little, you know, scrap gives scrap you. Scrap gives me whatever it gives me. It gives me, or if I get tired of it, then I'll move on to the next one. Yeah. So I have, yeah, I have a lot of scraps to use. If I do not have this done by Christmas, which I probably won't. I'm going to use my Christmas in July advent calendar that I bought from Anna Knitter mm -hmm. with the little opal minis and I will use that to help finish it off and do one 10 gram ball a day during the month of December. So that gives me something to look forward to. Yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah, I just, I love this. I love it so much. It's so colorful. Mm -hmm. I have not started opening those opal minis either. I'm yeah. You're waiting for Christmas. I'm waiting for Christmas. I'm having yeah. willpower. Awesome. So, okay. yeah. The only other Christmas knitting. I don't know if any of you are doing Christmas in July. This is Rachel's coal in my stocking. Coal in my stocking. It's not focused. It's not focused. Mm -hmm. Focus. There you go. Focus. Yay. This is one that. Um, I knit last year. You knit it last year, but I think this was an extra skein that had a knot in it. Mm -hmm. And so she gave me this one. Yeah. And I am thinking about doing some Christmas in July socks. Nice. However, I have four pairs of socks on the needles right now, and I think adding a fifth one might just be a little too much. Even though two Overboard. of them board. Yeah, even though two of them are in timeout, mm -hmm. I feel guilty that they're not getting any work done. Yeah. So I don't know. Um, it's in my sewing or not in my sewing, it's in my knitting basket at the bottom. And it's been there for a year. <laughs> so I may just one of these days cake it up and get it on the needles. Get it on the needles because I would nice. really like to knit this one up before she comes out with her newer Christmas colorways. Awesome. So, um, yeah. I have some yarn I dyed yesterday that the holiday exclusives, the spooky fun and the Christmas, got the colorways dyed out. I was hoping that I would have, last podcast I said, I hope if we podcast in July I'll have them on the needles and show <laughs> you guys. Uh, yeah, so one of them is going to get cast on tonight since I only have one pair of needles one pair of socks on the needles and it's almost done. So I'm really excited to get yeah. those on the needles. Let me guess, it's going to be the Halloween ones. Probably the Halloween ones, yeah. but I'm thinking about maybe getting both of them on the needles and knitting a couple repeats so that I can photograph and show people. That would be because great. Because July is the last month to order those on yeah. my website. Yeah. And I'd really like to show people what it actually looks like knit up mm -hmm. and the contrasting mini skin color. Yeah. But, yeah, they might get done cuffed down, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be good. So, yeah. Awesome. Lots of fun things. Yeah. And I have not been working on my um, knitting from my stash little quarterly boxes. Caked one up, and it has been sitting there caked up, not being <laughs> cast on, so... Well, you kind of got sidetracked with blanket knitting. I did, yeah. It doesn't look yeah. like a ton of progress, but it takes me a while, so... It's nice, it's, slow, relaxing knitting. Yeah. Not everything is like knit it super fast to get a finished product, mm -hmm. especially, especially with blankets. blankets. 
Yeah. Like those are just things that you can just enjoy. And savor. Yeah. 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 I um I thought about starting another bits and bobs and I thought, no, just one blanket at a time is sufficient. Because yeah. you've had a crochet blanket on while you had your other bits and bobs that you had finished. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And that yeah. took you a while to get progress on any of those. It did. So it really did. I mean, if you have two of them going at the same time, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you, you know, can knock out a little more on one yeah. before you start another, that's yeah. always a bonus. Yeah. Okay. Um, things going on in our life. Little Lola is going to go get um, spade. Spade tomorrow. Yep. So early morning drive. <laughs> yeah, early morning drive into Houston. We had to go back in the afternoon, late yep. evening, or early evening. That's what it yeah. is, early evening, and pick her up. So, mm -hmm. prayers that that goes well for her. Um, yep. I think the girls are not as worried about it as I am. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of. Uh, yeah. She's such a cutie, and everybody in the family so loves tiny. her so much and is so mm -hmm. attached to her. It's going to be weird not having her. Bring a squeaky toy or run up and want to play all day, day long because she yeah. will do that all day long. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah. But there's not much else going on. It's summer. It's summer. And so. we're very attached to our pets, as you can tell. And yeah, yep. so one of them is not here for a day. We really miss them. Definitely. But yeah. I think that's it for us. Yep. A little short and sweet. And we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.